you're anything like me, you've been looking to fill the void SOCOM left back in the early 2000s. So I just purchased Ground Branch, and I'm going to give you my honest thoughts and opinions on this very ambitious tactical shooter. First off, I'd like to make very clear that Ground Branch, as of the making of this video, is currently in pre-alpha, meaning that the game is still very much in early development. Even though the game has been out since late 2018, development has been slow because of the very small development team at Blackfoot Studios. Recently, Ground Branch has partnered with Bad Rhino Studios, which have worked with studios like Bohemia Interactive, Facebook, and Epic Games. Ground Branch also has a new publisher, Microprose, providing most likely financial support for development and marketing. With the recent partnerships, I think it's safe to assume development time will speed up. Now on to my personal thoughts. As I previously said, Ground Branch is incredibly ambitious and has a promising roadmap, which will be linked down below along with the Steam page if you're interested. The game has a super solid core, starting with an excellent gun builder, though not much to choose from weapon and gear wise, what is there is really cool. Especially being able to mount attachments wherever you want along the rails, you also have the ability to customize the pouches on your rig to carry more or less magazines, grenades, flashbangs, or breaching charges, which I think adds a cool dynamic for each person to decide, based on their own playstyle, what they think they're going to need. There are also 7 main maps, 6 with both day and night versions, 3 training maps, and 2 arena-like maps. There are 6 game modes, Terrorist Hunt, Deathmatch, Team Deathmatch, Team Elimination, Uplink, and Defend. While the maps aren't anything to write home about, they do provide a fairly immersive and tactical feeling, especially a couple of outliers like Tanker and Power Station. Now in the game's current state, the AI can seem pretty rough around the edges, but they do communicate with each other to share information about your location, and they will run flanks and push you while you're reloading, or when you aren't expecting it. So don't get me wrong, they are very lethal when they work as intended. Now something that really stood out to me are the game's graphics. Being built in Unreal Engine, the reflections are absolutely beautiful. From puddles to the inside of the subway tunnels, the artwork on the walls is really cool, and the models of the guns are pretty good as well. Not everything is this good looking, but keep in mind a lot of assets are placeholders during the alpha. The devs have a lot of work to do, but so far things are looking great, and I'm excited to see what's ahead. Thanks so much for watching, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. See you next time.